JT, slow your roll, man. Or maybe I should be saying roll tide. Just this season alone, the 24-year-old has four wins, a historic 59, the lowest major championship score in relation to par at the U.S. Open, and now his first major championship. Huge congratulations to the son and grandson of PGA professionals. That's right, Justin Thomas had the storybook Sunday, winning the PGA championship complete with the family ties. He might have even predicted it himself. To be fair, when the PGA Tour asks on Instagram if a first-time major winner will be crowned this week and you are looking to become a first-time major champ, you answer. The Bama alum commented, hope so, well, we know so. JT, you are now the seventh first-time major winner in the last eight major events. Or maybe it was his last major celebration at the Open with Buddy Jordan Spieth that set the wheels in motion. Now he's got a trophy selfie all his own. And I am pleased to tell you, JT, that when you woke up this morning, it was not all a dream. If his mom is like our moms, then you know she'll be looking back through the family archives to help reflect on the momentous occasion. But I'd, I like to turn pro like in early 20s or something, I think. I mean, I guess so. <laughs> I mean, it's probably not something I should think, be thinking about when I'm 10. So far away. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what's cuter, that or his friends giving him a pat on the back. Those that didn't get to hang around for the finish took to Twitter, like fellow 2017 major champion Sergio Garcia, and Luke Donald, who clarified for us which JT he was rooting for. And it wasn't Justin Timberlake, who, for the record, has got the feeling too. Speaking of entertainers, the other Justin stopped by Quill Hollow during a week that turned out to be a star-studded affair. Yep, you better believe it. Justin Bieber was there hanging out with his buddy Bubba Watson. He even had a little impromptu vocal sesh with Wesley Bryan. Kevin Na, he sat this one out. The most decorated Olympian of all time came out to cheer on his friend Jordan Spieth at Quail Hollow. Michael Phelps also gave Thomas a shout out on Twitter after his win Sunday night. NBA champion and Golden State Warrior Andre Iguodala was a guest social media correspondent for TNT, so basically he just took selfies with the trophy and stuff. We all learned a few things, like what the players look like in shorts. We see those legs, JT. And what we could accomplish in the time it takes for Hideki Matsuyama to pause in his backswing. What I could do in the length of time that he pauses up there is probably finish a beer. If I'm watching him hit a shot on TV, I go, uh, Hideki. And it seems to time it up pretty perfect. Drink a beer in that time would be pretty good, actually. You hear about that? <laughs> I know what else you could do in that time. Check out the takeaway each night on PGATour.com. That's right, I'll be on site this week for the Wyndham Championship in the social hub. So make sure and follow along on social media. I'll see you there on PGA Tour Live and for a recap each day in the takeaway. And you better pay attention because this is the last week before the FedEx Cup playoffs start. So it's a pretty important one. See you soon, North Carolina.